Hey everybody, Joe here, and I'm going to give you my honest opinion on what I think is the most important piece of equipment when planning on carrying a gun every day for self-defense purposes. And that, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't guessed by the video, is a belt. Why a belt? Because if you have a proper gun belt, it takes, I want to say, at least 60% of the weight off your hips and off your waist and off your back which anyone that has carried a gun before with a terrible belt or a belt that you get from Walmart knows exactly what I'm talking about and about four hours into it you really really want to you know just take that damn thing off and throw it in your glove box or throw it on your dresser at home and it's just not a fun thing so in this video I'm going to give you some qualities that I look for in a quality gun belt here we have the SOE EDC uh, gun belt and it's a one and a half inch uh, in width um, belt with a I believe it's a one and a half inch miniature Cobra buckle and guys this this thing is just rigid beyond belief you can't um, you can't get it to move and I think that's that's the one and you know one of the many qualities that you should look for in a belt is if you squeeze this thing it should not be able to really move or flex at all and um, the SOE belts definitely have it uh, another thing that you want to look for especially and this is more geared towards nylon gear um, not so much leather I don't really have a whole ton of experience with uh, leather gun belts but you know um, Dave could probably give you better uh, advice on that but not myself but the things that I like in a nylon belt is definitely the rigidness. You shouldn't be able to bend the belt at all. Um, the stitching should be, you know, top notch, which, you know, with anything with SOE, their stitching is amazing. Um, and honestly, all in all, it should really feel like you have a shower curtain rod running through your belt loops. That's the best way I can describe it. When you um, take your shorts off and leave your belt in there, the sign of a good gun belt is the fact that the, your pants are still holding the shape of the belt. And uh, if you have that, you know you have a quality belt. And um, that's about it. That's, that's my thought on it. You know, the best piece of gear that you can buy to carry a gun every day is uh, definitely your belt, ladies and gentlemen. But um, again, look for that rigidness. Look for that good stitching. Um, I would say comfort, but you know what? There's nothing comfortable about carrying a, carrying a gun every day. It's more about uh, just making things more tolerable. And um, that's about it. Anyway, take her easy, guys.